my name is Varun Amar Koshik. I'm with Team 10 and we took part in scenario 2 where we were dealing with the high altitude earthquake and landslide risks in spa uh, particularly in uh, Solukumbu region in Everest National Park in Nepal. So this housing design is a part of a larger project where we we try to understand by being with the community for two and a half, three years already, we try to understand the local traditions, uh, how a Sherpa house works traditionally, and what are the contemporary economic, environmental, privacy uh, change, changes that all these uh, aspects they bring. How does it affect a contemporary Sherpa house? So the key resilient features for us is um, Earlier they used to have huge timber beams and columns that were the tensile uh, structure for the house. But ever since the park was declared a national park, you cannot chop any more uh, trees in the vicinity. But our main aim is to focus on replicability. A bag of cement is $50 minimum when it reaches up on your back for three days. No one is going to replicate that. So we want to do something that it might not be earthquake proof, it might not be earthquake safe, it's only going to be earthquake safer. But we understand that it's more important to focus on replicability than just uh, setting up an example of uh, another house, like how to do a concrete, a concrete house. So we try to upgrade the vernacular construction technology and that's a, that's a very simple masonry in timber frame uh, connected with each other, basic technology of construction. The traditional Sherpa house is in the form of a big hall and designed the house in a way that if you put partition walls in it, you get a bedroom and a kitchen and dining and another bedroom. If you put another partition, you can create one bedroom with a toilet. It becomes a homestay for the family. So we tried to design this flexible space, which can, over time, different families can use dif in different ways. Second thing, uh, what we really uh, invested in is uh, climatic response of the building. And also this greenhouse uh, with black wall, it absorbs solar energy throughout the day and radiates it on the inside at night. Also, on the three other sides, what we do is we use toilets and storerooms on the small sides as uh, sacrificial insulation rooms. And on the north side, we use uh, storage uh, cupboards. So we, it was consciously decided that we do social buildings in a way that people can look at them and learn how to do their houses. 